गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई एम रिजेट सना आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑल्सो दिस सेशन वुड इंक्लूड द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जून बिकॉज यस्टरडे द सर्वर वॉज टोटली डिसेबल्ड दैट्स वाई आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू टेक द क्लास ओके सो बेसिकली दिस सेशन वुड इंक्लूड द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल द थ्री डेज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी सिक्सथ एंड ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ जून ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन ऑल्सो टूडे द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन वुड बी ऑब्वियसली मोर दैन द अदर डेज सो टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस नियरली थर्टी क्वेश्चन ओके लेट स्टार्ट विच कंट्री इज द होस्ट ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज खान क्वेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री मल्टीलेटरल पीस कीपिंग ज्वाइंट एक्सरसाइज सो दिस इज अ मल्टीलेटरल पीस कीपिंग ज्वाइंट एक्सरसाइज दैट इज करेंटली बींग हेल्ड इन द कंट्री मंगोलिया एंड इट इन्वॉल्व द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ मिलिट्री कंटिजेंट्स एंड द ऑब्जर्वर्स फ्रॉम अराउंड ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज ऑल्सो प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ मंगोलिया इनोग्रेटेड दिस एक्सरसाइज which is co-sponsored by mongolian armed forces and the us army pacific command okay so the only thing that you have to remember is the host for this particular exercise is the country mongolia which union ministry launched dakshita for young professionals basically the karm yogi platform has recently launched a compilation called as this dakshita platform for the young professionals and the primary goal is to enhance the learners functional domain specific and behavioral abilities by providing them essential knowledge on subjects that are vital for effectively fulfilling their duties and responsibilities okay so dakshita platform is associated with ministry of personal public grievances and pension okay also you can be asked that what is the expansion of nixi which has recently celebrated its 20th foundation day full form is the national internet exchange of india and it celebrated its 20th foundation day recently on 19th of june that's why it was in news obviously nixi has made remarkable efforts to establish a strong and all encompassing digital environment in the nation through its various business divisions which include internet exchange and nixi csc data services limited okay only thing here important is what is the expansion of nixi Our answer would be national internet exchange of india also you can be asked that what is the full form of this dakshita acronym so answer would be development of attitude knowledge skill for holistic transformation in administration okay so this is basically a compilation not platform okay next is which institution adopted the international treaty to protect the high seas so world's first international treaty to protect the high seas was adopted by the united nations on 19th of june and it will help in protecting the remote ecosystem that are critical for the survival of humanity and this treaty is known as the treaty of biodiversity beyond the national jurisdiction also it introduces requirements to carry out environmental impact studies for proposed activities to be carried out in the international waters okay so which institution adopted this international treaty to protect our high seas answer would be united nations this block recently adopted recommendations to strengthen action against antimicrobial resistance so council of european union adopted a set of recommendations to strengthen the action against antimicrobial resistance and it recommended prudent use of antimicrobials such as antibiotics in human and animal health and what is this antimicrobial resistance so basically it refers to the ability of microorganism like bacteria virus and parasite to adapt and withstand the effects of antimicrobial drugs which actually renders them less effective or completely ineffective in treating the infection okay so recently this european union group has adopted the recommendations so as to strengthen the action against antimicrobial resistance as per recent research 
The earth has tilted as much as 80 centimeters due to which activity? This is an important question. And by extracting and redistributing the ground water, humans have inducted shift in the earth's axis. Okay. So in a span of 70 years, that means from 1993 to 2010, the act of pumping groundwater has caused the earth to shift eastward by approximately 80 centimeters. And this study has said that around 2150 gigatons of water have been pumped out during this time period. Okay. And this study was based on climate models. Okay. So interesting thing is the groundwater extraction has caused the earth to tilt nearly 80 centimeters towards east. Okay. Next is which institution released the food outlook report? So the latest addition of the food outlook report was released recently by the food and agriculture organization. And the report has revealed that there is a significant that there is a significant decline in the food imports by the most vulnerable countries. And also it estimates that the global food bill will rise to $1.98 trillion in 2023, which is up by 1.5% from 2022. Okay. What's inside the report is not at all important. Only thing you have to remember is this is the report from the Food and Agriculture Organization headquarters lies in Rome. Next is which institution conducts India's household consumption expenditure survey. So India's household consumption expenditure survey is a new consumption survey that will track online expenses. Okay. And basic aim is to capture a real economic picture. Okay. So national statistical office conducts the household consumer expenditure survey in every five years. And also to include the questions on OTT, subscription spend, the time spent online means how much time you're spending online, how often we shop online, or we order the meals from Zomato or Swiggy, and if we own an electric vehicle. So these are the different questions that are asked under this program or under this survey. So National Statistical Office conducts this particular survey. ISRO has agreed to undertake a joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024 along with which country? So the Artemis Accords represent a set of principles, the aim of which is to provide guidance for 21st century civil space exploration and utilization. So it is a US-led effort, the aim of which is to bring the country back to the moon by 2025. Also, India has decided to join the Artemis Accord, as we know, which brings like-minded countries together on a civil space exploration. And NASA and ISRO have agreed to a joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024. Okay, So ISRO has agreed to undertake this joint mission to the ISS in 2024 along with the country US. The Science and Technology Agreement 1979 which was seen in the news recently was signed between which two countries. So this is the agreement between US and China and it was signed in the year 1979 and it has underpinned bilateral cooperation in science, technology and other areas for decades. And the deal has been renewed every five years or so and it is set to expire on 27th of August 2023 now. So in Beijing, Chinese officials held multiple rounds of talks with the US Secretary of State, Mr. Antony Blinken. Okay. So this is an agreement between which two countries answer would be US and China. Euclid mission, which was seen in the news recently was launched by which space agency. So this is a mission under which a European probe will be launched into space to increase the understanding of the dark matter and dark energy. And the Euclid mission is valued at $1.1 billion. Basically, this probe will join fellow space telescope James Webb at a stable hovering spot 1.5 million kilometers from Earth that is called as second Lagrangian point. Okay. 
So Euclid mission is associated with European Space Agency. E is for Euclid and E is for European Space Agency. Can you tell me river Rhine is located in which region? So it is one of the major European rivers. Why it is in news? Because it has started to dry up two weeks into the summer and low water levels are now preventing cargo vessels from sailing fully loaded. So this river originates in the Swiss Alps and later on it forms the France-Germany border and finally it flows into the Netherlands where it eventually empties itself into the North Sea. Okay. Simply you have to remember that river Rhine is located in Europe. As per a recent report, which is the fastest warming continent in the world? So a new study has revealed that Europe is the fastest warming continent in the world and the continent's temperature has risen by 2.3 degrees Celsius last year compared to the pre-industrial times. And the World Meteorological Organization has recently released a report on the status of the undesired impact of climate change. Okay. So Europe continent is the fastest warming continent in the world currently. Intergovernmental Authority on Development is a regional economic community with how many member countries? So it is a regional economic community that comprises of eight member states, which are these Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, South Sudan, Sudan, Uganda, and Somalia. Fine. So this Intergovernmental Authority on Development, regional focus of the global report on food prices 2023 was released recently by this authority's climate prediction and applications center and it revealed that an estimated 30 million individuals across five countries on the continent are expected to need humanitarian help in the form of food assistance okay so this is a regional economic community that consists of total eight countries which are these countries let's discuss once again these are Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, then South Sudan, Sudan, Uganda, and Somalia. ISRO has agreed to undertake a joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024 along with which country? Sorry, this is a repeated question. Here answer with the USA. Now next is, which country announced the vacant property refurbishment grant scheme? So Ireland country has announced the vacant property refurbishment grant scheme recently for those people who own a desolate house in one of its 20 islands on the western coast. So it offers a maximum of $92,000 to those people who want to develop and refurbish vacant and derelict homes and want to live in one of its 20 islands on the western coast. So this scheme is a part of 10 year strategy for the islanders. Okay. So recently, Ireland country has announced this vacant property refurbishment grant scheme. India gifted indigenously built in service missile Corvette INS Kirpan to which particular country? So India has recently gifted this INS Kirpan to the country Vietnam. And Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh announced this after bilateral talks with his visiting Vietnamese counterpart, General Phan Wan. Fine. So Anis Kirpan has been gifted to the country Vietnam by our country India. Which Indian institution nudged the Google and Apple to secure mobile devices for financial transactions? So Reserve Bank of India has prepared a 10 point action plan for strengthening the cyber security in financial transactions. And this includes the talks with the tech companies like Google and Apple to secure mobile devices and adoption of artificial intelligence and machine learning in the cyber security design. Okay. So Reserve Bank of India has decided to strengthen the cyber security in financial transactions. Also don't forget that the TRAI means the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India has recommended adding a section in the Indian Telecommunication Bill 2022 to promote, protect and prioritize submarine cables and the cable landing stations since they are critical assets. Also it suggested that the operation and maintenance of these cables should be accorded as essential 
services status okay so you can be asked that the telecom regulatory authority of india has recently recommended essential services status to which entity so answer would be submarine cables who has been appointed as the new chief of raw means research and analysis wing so ips officer ravi sinha was recently appointed as the new chief of raw and he takes up this position from mr samant goel who has completed his 4 years of tenure with this raw so currently ravi sinha is the special secretary at the cabinet secretariat and he is a 1988 batch indian police service officer of chatisgarh cadre okay simply who is the new chief of raw answer would be mr ravi sinha as per ministry of housing and urban affairs data which state or the union territory tops the country with 100% rate of recycling and reusing the cnd waste so ministry of housing and urban affairs has revealed that half of the construction and demolition waste in the country which is also known as cnd waste is being efficiently recycled and repurposed so delhi tops the country with an impressive 100% rate of recycling and reusing their cnd waste and the nationwide estimate for daily cnd waste production stood at 30000 tons currently okay so as per their data union territory of delhi has topped the country with 100% rate of recycling and reusing the cnd waste who has been chosen for the professor kothapalli jay shankar award this is eminent poet literary critic and sahitya academy award recipient mr acharya n gopi he has been selected for this particular award which was instituted by bharat jagruthi which is a cultural organization and extended arm of bharat rashtra samiti okay so at present mr acharya gopi has so far penned 56 books that include 26 compilation of poems fine so who has been chosen for this particular award answer would be mr acharya and gopi which famous personality has been conferred the prestigious german peace prize this is a very very important question and british american author salman rushdi has been conferred with this prestigious 2023 peace prize of the german book trade and it recognizes the individuals who oppose in word and deed what endangers peace understanding and equality among the nations and this announcement was made on 19th of june on the day when he turned 76 okay so basically salman rushdi has been conferred with this prestigious german peace prize which company has signed a memorandum of understanding with india's tourism minister to showcase the heritage stays so airbnb has signed this mou with the union ministry of tourism to showcase india's heritage stays and promote cultural tourism and the company will partner with the ministry to promote inbound tourism as a part of visit india 2023 initiative okay so your answer would be air pnb bhavani devi who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so we know that bhavani devi is associated with fencing let's see why she was in news because recently she became the first indian fencer to win a medal in the asian championship okay and the venue for the, this championship was china also don't forget that during the tokyo olympics she was the first indian fencer to ever compete at an olympics okay so these are the few important achievements of bhavani devi recently she became the first indian fencer to win a medal in the asian championship that's why she was in news which institution launched a diet and biomarkers survey so this survey was launched in december 2022 by the national institute of nutrition okay so it will map the diet nutrition and health status across india and the survey will define food and nutrient adequacy by collecting individual dietary intake data of different age groups of people from 28 states and the eight union territories okay so this survey has been released by nin means the national institute of nutrition which country is set to adopt the international monetary fund mandated method to calculate its forex reserve this is the country bangladesh 
and now it is set to adopt the IMF mandated method to calculate its foreign reserve. Okay, and the calculation of the foreign exchange holdings of the country will now be in line with the IMF's sixth addition of the balance of payment and international investment position manual and moving to the IMF methodology would take out the amount committed by the government to the export development fund worth six billion dollars okay so Bangladesh has decided to adopt the IMF mandated method to calculate their foreign reserve also you have to tell me who's the current and 22nd president of the country Bangladesh please write your answer in the comment section which country's football team clinched the Intercontinental Cup in 2023? So Indian men's senior football team recently defeated the country Lebanon to clinch this Intercontinental Cup in Bhubaneswar, when it was Bhubaneswar. So this is India's second title in the tournament and they won their first title in the year 2018. Also, this is Sunil Chhetri's 87th international goals in total 137 appearances. Also, he is only behind Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Fine. Cristiano Ronaldo is from the country Portugal and Lionel Messi is from Argentina. Fine. Next is Habishik Verma, who was seen in the news recently, is associated with which sport? So, India's compound Archer. Abhishek Verma has clinched a gold medal at the Archery World Cup 2023 in Colombia. Okay. So he has defeated James Lutz, who is also the world champion and he is from the country USA. So this is Abhishek Verma's third individual gold medal in the Archery World Cup and that's why he was in news. Which Indian state hosted the G20? Tourism Working Group and Tourism Ministerial Meeting. So the fourth and concluding G20 Tourism Working Group meeting began in Goa and then it was followed by Tourism Ministerial Meeting and the ministry is pleased to announce the upcoming launch of the G20 Tourism and the Sustainable Development Goal Dashboard which is a pioneering initiative that has been developed in collaboration with United Nations World Tourism organization and uh, purpose is to co-create the Goa roadmap for tourism under India's G20 presidency okay so which is, uh, state was the host for the G20 tourism working group and tourism ministerial meetings answer would be Goa and now the last question says which is the first country other than India to promote itself using yoga so Oman has created history as the first foreign government to promote country through yoga and the Indian Embassy in the Sultanate of Oman has introduced a video called as Soulful Yoga Serene Oman on the lines of International Day of Yoga 2023. So Indian Embassy partnered with the Visit Oman which is a subsidiary of Oman's Ministry of Tourism to produce the video. Okay. So which is the first country other than India to promote itself using yoga? This country is Oman. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and from tomorrow will continue like earlier. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.